It has been such a long time since we've done a studio vlog. Like, oh my gosh, it's been like, what, six months? Half a year? So I know it's been a very long time since I've done a studio vlog, but it's not to say that there's been nothing going on with Dream Chapter Studio. In fact, there has been so much going on that I really didn't have time to document it for YouTube. So we are going to do a huge recap and I'm going to give you an update on all the things that have been added to the shop and what inspired it and kind of like a reflection on where I'm at and where I want to take Dream Chapter Studio and yeah. Let's get started. If you're new, hi, my name is Afra. It is so nice to meet you. I started my business Dream Chapter Studio a year ago and we just celebrated the first, and by we, I mean me, I celebrated the first anniversary of Dream Chapter Studio. I really wanted to have a business where I could express and learn art um, and just kind of capture just items I wanna see in the market. Like, I don't know how else to put it. So picking up from the last studio vlog, studio vlog nine, I introduced I think memo pad sample packs, <laughs> and then, which now I'm like, it's kind of like a casual, very casual product on my shop. And then art prints, my first art prints. And to be transparent with you, they flopped. They totally flopped and that's okay. Like it's fine. I actually put in a lot of thought and effort into those art prints. Like I really wanted it to be a butterfly metamorphosis kind of thing, caterpillar to cocoon to butterfly theme. I feel like I couldn't really market it that well. I didn't even give it that much time to market it. It was just a huge learning lesson for me. I was like, okay, we need to start over. So before that I had the, the yours collection memo pads, which were these like very colorful ingredient memo pads with kind of like positive affirmations or manifestations like the universe is yours, the world is yours, and the future is yours. And then after the next collection, I was getting really inspired by other people doing K-pop fan inspired art. And so I wanted to do my take. And so I did a BTS army collection where I did, you know, just inspired designs. Yeah, so then after that were the flop art prints. And so then after that, at the time, ATs was doing their comeback for Gorilla, and I was really about it. Obviously really cool. And I wanted to kind of do a part two on fan inspired art. And and so I wanted to do this really cyber core concept because that's like kind of the direction I wanted to go in. And I mean, who is more cyber core than 80s? So I really wanted to do my take on that. And so I went for it. I made a art print. Here is a time lapse of that experience. Um, I did post a lot on TikTok on my journey. So if you want to check out my TikTok just to kind of see things in real time at that time, <laughs> my TikTok is Dream Chapter Studio, which Yes, it used to be my name, but I thought that I should take my business more seriously and put that first. Anyways, the art prints did had good reception on social media, not necessarily on sales. Um, like I was getting likes and comments, but it didn't really translate to purchases. And so I saw some comments of being like, this would be cool on a shirt or on a blanket. And at the time I was getting into print on demand. That was something that I wanted to explore because I was seeing so many YouTube videos about that from like Etsy advice givers. And so I was just looking at their catalog and I thought a tote bag would be doable. There's no size issues, you know, and I got a sample. I got a couple of samples actually. And I found a manufacturer that I wanted to work with. And, and so I really liked how it looked. I'm like, this is really cool. So I basically took my art prints and I took these tote bags and I thought, let me, I basically Kris Jennered myself. And so I thought, okay, let me just expand on this and do different K-pop groups because I have been getting requests anyway on social media. Like when are you gonna do this group or that group? And so I basically kept a template where, okay, this, we're gonna have the title as the group name, um, the bottom with the group members with this kind of like stretch text type of thing. And in the middle, I wanted to do like an element that represents the group. So with ATs, I kind of had like a globe. With 17, I did diamonds because of carrots. For Blackpink, I did a heart. I was just kind of feeling it because I was just kind of messing around with Adobe Illustrator and I did a 3D heart. And then when you render it and then get the wireframes, that's like the result you get. So I thought that looked cool. And then for Stray Kids, I did a skateboard because, because they were having a comeback too. And I thought Superboard was really cool. That was a song that I liked the most from the comebacks. And I didn't really think it was going to go anywhere until it did. It always works out that way okay so i totally forgot to mention that i have more tote bag designs that i didn't get to cover sorry that i do not have my mic plugged in for this i'm just using my laptop mic 
Sorry for the jump scare of a different sound quality here. So I dropped a Mendy tote bag collection and Mendy or henna is something that's really big in my culture. If you guys don't know, I'm Bangladeshi, that's my cultural background and I really wanted to, you know, express that in some of my designs. And I also have a very simple tote bag, which is my butterfly logo. And I also put the mini poster print that I made for Good Things Are Coming on a tote bag. So honestly, I was doing markets, like I was a vendor at cup sleeve events, topped with social media posting, and top with that this was in the fall so holiday sales were coming in people were looking for gifts I honestly felt like the stars aligned and my shop really started to pick up with these tote bags especially the stray kids one and it was great I just didn't expect it to go anywhere and I think I kind of just had this weird disconnect with things yeah so basically here is the drama. So I basically had a handful of times of people on Etsy taking my listings, um, screenshotting them and selling it as their own. Customers would message me about it, which is really, really nice, but it really made me scared that some people didn't know that it's stolen content and my tote bags have Dream Trapper Studio at the bottom of it. So that was really, really heartbreaking. When I shipped my tote bags to sell at these cup sleeve events. There was a very inappropriate image drawn on the box, which I can laugh about now, but at the time I was really stressed and I took it personally. Then what really hurt was someone took my TikTok and basically downloaded it and reposted it as an ad. And it linked to a website that was just all stolen content. And it sucked so much because this ad had like thousands of likes, so many comments, and I was just like, I don't even know what to do. I like posted this like huge PSA to be like, do not buy from this shop. And man, it was just so cool because, I mean, it wasn't a cool experience, but I think I was just like not expecting that much response and um, support of people like supporting me not only on my video, but going to that ad and posting saying, this is stolen content from Dream Chapter Studio. You could get this tote bag from them. Like so many people commented that and it was just kind of like a great feeling in the sense that people believed me, but also it made me feel like this weird disconnect with doing fan inspired art. For me, when I want to take a mental break from things and just have an escape, I actually turn to K-pop and watch like music videos, content, things like that. But what started to happen was every time I would go back and watch these videos for my own entertainment and enjoyment, even listening to their music, I would think about all this drama that has followed me um, while making these tote bags. And of course, like I said, like a lot of great things came out of it, but also a lot of bad things did too, because for my own mental health, I felt like I just don't want to do this anymore. I really do want to preserve K-pop and certain things in my life as my own. That way, if I do get drama with content being stolen or designs being stolen, it can be separated. I can really treat it as a business problem. You know what I mean? It was just getting like really tangled up in my life and I wasn't able to enjoy the things that I wanted to enjoy. Even though this came from a good place, you know, designing these K-pop fan inspired art. I don't know. It's just like, ah oh man, like I want to be able to share these designs, especially as fans. It's a lot of fun, but like there's an ugly side to all of this too. So I felt like everything was kind of getting mixed up. And so that's kind of how I feel right now. Okay. So that is one <laughs> shop update. Good or bad, I don't know. I mean, I really do want to end on a positive note to say that this was a great learning experience for me. Like, I mean, I've had a lot of growth in my shop because of this. I had a lot of growth in marketing and I had a lot of growth in just me, you know? Like, I feel like if I didn't go down this road, I wouldn't really know what to do next. One thing I did want to mention for the mini posters and art prints, some of these elements I did design on my own and some of them I purchased a license from Creative Market, which I highly recommend if you're looking for cool graphics or fonts even. It's a really awesome website. I'll link it in the description so you can check it out yourself if you want to include something cool in your project. In print on demand, I chose Printify and that 
could be a whole other video. Still deciding if I like it. It definitely has a lot of pros and a lot of cons. So if that is something you're interested in, I am more than happy to make a separate video on it. Okay, and another shop update I had was I basically had the Bangsan for Life sticky notes in the BTS ARMY collection. And a lot of people asked for that to be in a sticky note version instead of memo pad because it's not sticky. And I was delaying on that a lot. And then I finally just did it. And I thought, okay, let me just include other groups too and kind of do a butterfly themed one too for my shop. Um, just so it's like a Dream Chapter Studio collection vibe. Sticky notes are doing okay. I think I just ordered a lot of them and I'm kind of concerned. To be like very like business with you, like getting a profit margin off of stationery is a lot harder because the cost of creating personalized stationery is actually pretty expensive. But you can't really mark up stationery either because there's a certain threshold where people can't justify spending like more than like they would spend at Walmart or like Target, you know what I mean? So I think I might kind of stop doing stationery. Oh, you heard it first. So I don't think Dream Chapter Studio is gonna be a stationery and art shop. I think it's gonna be a something else and art shop. I'm honestly still taking time to figure it out. Speaking of stationery, after that, the next update we have is notebooks. So I thought, okay, let me just take a clean break and do something totally different and do notebooks because I mean, hey, I'm a stationary shop, right? I should have journals, notebooks, that kind of thing. And so I worked with Printify on this one and they had this really nice matte covered journal and it worked out for the most part. I basically wanted to do personalized letters in this little heart locket kind of thing. What's great about Printify is that they will print on demand, um, so print as the customer orders it and then ship it out to the customer. So I was able to do all 26 letters and in three different colors. So what, 26 times three, okay? That's definitely a lot of inventory for me to carry, so it's really great. This is like a huge plus point for Printify because they can just print things with their machines as orders come in, whereas with other items, you just have to order the inventory and hope for the best that people will wanna buy your stuff, right? So I launched the heart and key notebooks in December-ish, and I think at that point I was pretty burnt out from everything, but it was like, it was doing okay, honestly. And I thought, okay, for February, for Valentine's Day, I definitely wanna do something very cute. And I did a little teddy bear notebook, and I really adore this one. This one I drew all on my iPad, and I just, I don't know, I fell in love with my own little character, teddy bear character. And I put it on the same um, journal brand, except I did it in colors chocolate and vanilla for, you know, Valentine's Day, trade in a box of chocolates for some cute little teddy journals. That was kind of like the vibe I was going for, and these did pretty well too. The negative part about this is that I ordered these in bulk from Printify, and so many of them came damaged like so many. So there wasn't a lot of inventory that I could sell. So while I was doing good marketing on TikTok for these journals, I felt like there was a threshold where I couldn't go too hard because I just didn't have enough to sell. And right now I'm just selling the ones that are defected as like a B grade with a discount. Okay, but I do want to end on more of a positive note. I know like my tone here is kind of like, done over it but like I think I'm also still trying to process things that's why I've delayed the studio vlog so for so long I guess in conclusion I'm really proud of the work that I did I'm really proud of my growth and I'm proud of my marketing skills and my art and design skills I feel like starting this business has been a good decision I feel really like myself and I feel like I have an identity and it means a lot. I'm really happy with the customers I've been able to connect with and even on social media. It's just a brand new world to me. Um, there's some good parts of it and some bad parts of it, but overall, no regrets. I'm really happy with things. I really wanna change things up for Dream Chapter Studio moving forward. And with that being said, I don't think I'm gonna do fan-inspired art anymore. It was a way to connect with the community, but I feel like it's kind of backfiring and not making me feel good anymore. So I'm going to just stick to a different concept and that's okay. I think it's gonna be okay. And I still wanna support the shops that do, do fan-inspired art because they're killing it and they're doing amazing and they're able to connect with their community in a positive way but I just think it's not working out for me and that's okay that's my learning lesson from this season um so I'm excited to see where dream chapter studio goes next and hopefully studio vlog 11 will come sooner than later and I will showcase the next product and I really want to go back to the roots of studio vlogs and do a start to finish concept for each product so yeah Okay, well, thank you so much for being so patient for the studio vlog. I really appreciate it. 
check out the shop dream chapter studio on etsy or on the website social media too i'll have it all here have it all in the description more vlogs to come and i really just appreciate you so much so thank you for watching and yeah if you have any questions or if there's anything i can clarify just comment below and i'll see you in the next video bye